Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1. Today we're going to take a look at the Grade Center and how you can use the Column Organization screen to reorganize how you see your columns in the Grade Center itself. Now to get into the Grade Center, you're going to go to your Control Panel, click on Grade Center, Full Grade Center, and on the right hand side your Grade Center will load. Once inside your Grade Center, you're going to notice that there are a few columns in there that you may never use. And if you start scrolling to the right, you'll notice that your columns are going to be dropping into the right as you add them in. So for example, this total is always in here, but it's going to be kind of in the middle of all these other columns that I've already put in there. And it doesn't work too well when you want to really want to look at something in a chronological order. So the way that you can reorder this is using the Column Organization menu. And you'll find that menu under your Manage button. So by holding over the Manage button and clicking on Column Organization, it's going to reload your Grade Center in a different format for you. Everything's going to be stacked on top of each other. Now there's a few things I wanted to point out. Number one, those first two columns that are frozen in place, last name and first name, are uh, indicated as being frozen because they're above this bar right here. It's called the frozen bar. So if for some reason you needed to free something else, let's say username for example, you can just drag that bar right under there. And now those top three will be frozen. If you didn't want maybe the first name, you can drag that out, drag out the last name, and just the username will be frozen in place. So that's really up to your preference. I'm going to go ahead and put that back to how it was before here. Now, these are the four columns that I was talking about that you cannot remove from the Grade Center, but you can hide them, and I'm going to show you how you do that now. If you click the checkbox to the left of each of those items, you can go up to the top of your screen, select the Hide Show button, and just click Hide Selected Columns. So now they're going to be hidden from view, italicized, and there's a little indicator that it's been hidden. So it's not going to show up in your Grade Center, but they still are there for your access. Now you can do that with other columns within your Grade Center if you needed to do that. Okay, now down in this bottom area where it says not in a grading period. Even though it's not in a grading period, it's still in your Grade Center, and you'll still have access to all those columns, and your students will still be able to look at all those uh, Grade Center items. This is just an indicator that you haven't put it in a period so that you can uh, look at specific columns at a time. It's just, just all of them at, all at once. So the way that we're going to go ahead and manipulate these columns and put them in order is just by grabbing the handlers on the left-hand side and ordering them the way that we want. Well, I'd want my total to be at the very bottom here. Weighted total to be right before my, my actual total column. And then there's some of my calculated columns that we've created in a previous tutorial. Column 1 and 2. Assignment 1, I'm going to put that one at the top. And this forum name is one of those forums that we've created. Now, if you're working with weighting your grades and you forgot to categorize everything beforehand, there's an easy way to go ahead and do that through this uh, column organization screen. For example, if you look at this category column, you'll notice that our assignment one is with uh, in the assignment category, discussion for the forum name, and we have this column one and two that have no categories. I forgot to put them in a category. Let's say that that column one and two were supposed to be of the category assignment. So what I can do is select the checkbox to the left of either of those items, and then at the bottom, select Change Category 2. And it's going to give you all the options of categories that you can turn those to. So I said Assignment. If I click Assignment, it's going to change those two to Assignment. So if you rather set up all your columns and then come to the Column Organization screen and put everything into categories, that's a way that you can go ahead and do that. Now there is a Change Grading Period 2 button as well. Uh, we haven't gone over the grading periods yet, but you can check the tutorial for grading periods out and it'll give you a little bit more insight on how you'd be able to use one of those. Now the last step is to submit. We've made a lot of changes in this menu, but if you do not submit, it's not going to stick on to those changes. So I'm going to hit submit. It's going to reload my grade center, and now you're going to notice that everything's going to be in the order that you set it within that column organization menu. And this concludes this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1.